Today, I'm talking to you about a brand new Path of Titans theory video. Since you guys seem to enjoy my last Path of Titans theory video where I went over what I think the next dinosaur is, and the discussion video where I said why there hasn't been any new dinosaurs coming to the game as of late. So today, I'm going to be blessing you with another discussion video, and this is my opinion on what I think the next major content update for the game will be. There is another discussion video that I had in mind and obviously that is this one and this one came to fruition after the new development update was released about the new food content. If you want to check the full overview video about that update here it is on the screen now. Of course I'll be splitting this video into segments and the timestamps for which will be on the screen now but I'm going to try and give you the rundown of what technically has been confirmed and also some theories of what I think could happen. Anyways feel free to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this video and want to see more content like this on a wide range of dinosaur games including Path of Titans. I try and keep you up to date with dinosaur game news but other than that let's get right into this video. So of course this is a theory video, I just want to say this before I start, this update is not confirmed to be next, I'm just discussing the possibility of this becoming the next update because I mean sometimes people can get confused and then ask me, oh why did you make this video then? I just like discussing things and going through potential theories, I'm not just a news channel. Anyways, I think the next update for Path of Titans will be a quest overhaul update and I have my reasonings for it. The devs have said in their video for the new spawn systems they said they were primarily working on food overhauls and quest overhauls. We have just seen the new food and water system get implemented into the game as of the day I am recording this and then the day after I record this a video will be coming out about that update. So of course the next possible update that we could be getting since we have had food completed and the overhaul for food completed, the next one we could be seeing is quests. Of course this is because quests need to be updated anyways, they are very important to the game and the quality of this game because you you need quests, I've said this before, you need quests in the game before you can implement growth to the game and this is probably the better time to implement quests because now we have the new food variants, we can have food variant based quests if you have to deliver certain foods to the quest, I'm going to be talking about that in a minute. Of course, I also believe marks and quests will be tied to the home cave systems because we haven't heard much about them yet and obviously it's nice to theorise about these home cave systems because they're not in the game yet. Anyways, what do you think will be the next update coming to the game? Do you think it will be quest overhauls or do you think quest overhauls will take some time? Of course, we have heard the devs want to do quest overhauls as the next update. We know we need this before growth. So it's only going to be coming in due time and would be better to be sooner rather than later. Let me know what you think. So let's just go ahead and talk about the quest types that I think will be coming in this new update. Now there are three quest types that I want to talk about. The first one is the delivery quest type. This is a quest type that we all know and love. This is a quest type that has been tested on the public test and is currently playable on the public test. I do not believe, however, this quest type is available on the Pangea map. However, they could be moving it over to the Pangea map very shortly. So what is this you know this current task well the current one that we have in the game is the honor the dead task the honor the dead task is a quest which sees players picking up a bone from a skeleton or a dead dinosaur and taking it to a drop-off point which is more of a graveyard of dead dinosaurs and full of dead dinosaur skeletons you get 500 marks for completing this quest however I think that this new quest will be very interesting because it will also mean that players will have to move across the map a lot, going up and down and then getting a lot of quest rewards. This could be a very useful one if you, you know, know two locations that are very close to each other that have a delivery and a drop off, then you'll be able to farm quests and marks pretty much easily. However, I also think the new food update could go into this quest very well because we also seen that in the new food update, we noticed that, you know, the delivery quest is done and ready to go. It just needs to be added to Pangea. They didn't do that and then the food update came and it wasn't in the food update. So this makes me think the quest update will be next because we already have the foundations with the delivery quest and the previous 
hunger and survival quests which were added to the game. However, of course, I also think we could be seeing a food delivery quest type in a way. Surely there won't just be one quest, right? There won't be just one quest for the delivery quest. We'll be, we should be seeing more than just a honor the dead bone quest. And my personal opinion is that we'll be seeing a delivery quest for different food sources. Because with this new food update, you can now pick up any food and carry it around as you please. Of course, this counts as a mobile snack for you to pick up and take with you. But of course, if you get into combat, this is a little bit of an issue because you end up dropping it. The added bonus here, we could be seeing that it could end up being a delivery quest as well. Why would this be a delivery quest? Well, you see that nuts are a quest and mushrooms are a quest and you can eat them and pick them up as well. Bones are now, a, will be a quest. We know they'll be a quest. They'll be the honor the dead quest, but dinosaurs like Concavenator can eat and pick up bones and all dinosaurs can currently pick up bones. This could mean that the food items which you can eat and pick up and carry around could also be for a quest type. A delivery quest type would be more fitting. What do you guys think? There is a lot of potential for a delivery quest type and I think there's a lot of potential for a delivery quest type that could include all the new food in the game. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Another quest type that we actually know of and was announced in the video for the new spawning system is group quests. This is a new quest type that is said to be a way to assign quests to the whole group so you can work together as a team to complete the quests. Now this can either go in two ways in my opinion. Marks are distributed to everyone in the group. Everyone gets the same amount of marks and that will be the normal amount of marks that you get for completing said quest. Or these marks will be distributed to the original from the original pool of rewards to the people who contributed the most to the quest which would therefore you know reward you for contributing to the quest instead of just sitting in the group to get points and to farm points and would prevent an exploit of being lazy and just being invited to a quest group and then someone completing the quest and you getting the mark so my opinion will be that the second one would be the more likely one to come to the game if group quests do come in a quest overhaul update I feel group quests will just be the same as normal quest types. We will see, you know, the incorporation of most different quest types apart from survival quests to group quests. I feel like they won't have their own individual quest types, but I'm not too sure what the devs will be doing with this one. Group quests could also be tied to growth and nesting, of course. When you do a quest, you get marks and you also will grow in the new system. So obviously group tech quests will be growth of the group. But you can also tie that to nesting and family. If the family is in a group or the parents are in a group, you could collect items for a nest and tend after the young and get marked through that way. That could be a good way to make you, you know, better parents in the game because you could just neglect your baby and let them fend for themselves. Which of course is a theory, like I've said a lot before, this is a big theory and of course it might not come to the game, it's just my opinion and what I think could happen. Group quests will be a way for groups to do quests and of course maybe we could see this expand to clan quests when we see the clan mechanic get incorporated to the game. And the final uh, quest that I want to talk about in this video is the one that was just announced in the brand new food update video that is the food and water replenishing quest. This quest was mentioned in the new development update for the new food and water system, more specifically in the part where they talk about the water replenishing and water quality going down where the developers said in the dev blog, in the future players will be able to complete quests to restore the quality of lakes and even regrow food sources. This could be a potential for a delivery quest type in my opinion. You have to deliver something, maybe a shell to a depleted lake and then it will replenish it a little bit or you could have a group quest where you have to deliver it to certain points of the lake where then replenish it fully once all the shells have been deposited in their specific areas. And of course, you'd then obviously take something to a food source and have that root food source replenish over time. So then you can technically camp in one spot. This could bring hotspots back if we see something like this, which please, we've gotten rid of Corpse Cove, so hopefully we don't have this anytime soon. 
Obviously, this will help you protect food sources. If you're an aquatic and you want to keep your lake safe from, you know, losing all your fish, this will be very useful to you. And if you have food sources where there's locations that people keep going to, you could then, if you come across it and it's empty, you can replenish it yourself. This is, of course, something that I find very interesting. Of course, in my opinion, to end this video, I'm going to round it out on my own opinion. I believe the next update that will come to the game will be the quest update. Of course, this isn't confirmed, so please don't say, Oh, Veloci has said the quest update is next for the game. This must be true. And then go at me for why did you make this video? I wanted to make a discussion video, of course. So yeah, this is my opinion. And why is this my opinion? Well, personally, of course, we need quests before we can get growth to come to the game. Like I've said a lot because growth is tied into the quest system in the game so you'll need this overhaul before we can get growth and before of course we can get the pre-release of the game available to the general public now this is something that i think is very interesting and it's something that definitely is something that we will be needing in the future and will in my opinion make it so this is the next thing to come to the game what is your opinion feel free to let me know in the comments down below i would love to see what you guys think will be the next major update to come to path of titans of course this has been veloci covering this brand new path of titans discussion and theory video feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you want to see more let me know and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more but then that guys i do hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one have a great day peace